Hello and welcome to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak and this video is all about the hugging face. What this hugging face is and why you need to learn about this technology. So if you want to get into the ML AI thing, if you want to catch up the new shift in the technology, then the knowledge of hugging face is extremely extremely important for your career now before moving forward a simple request to subscribe to this bitfumes youtube channel and hit the like button that will give me the motivation to create more content like this so without wasting much time let's get it started so think about hugging face as the github for ml community what github did for open source software community, similar to that, Hugging Face is doing for open source machine learning community. You will be able to find every open source model here in the Hugging Face. Also, it provides the open source data set of huge collection and people like you and me can host their demo application on Hugging Face also. We will going to talk about each and everything, but let's get into the history of Hugging Face little bit. So basically this Hugging Face company was started in 2016 by French entrepreneurs in New York City. Initially, it was just develop a chatbot application for teenagers, but later on they thought, okay, let's open source their chatbot model. And after open sourcing of their chatbot model, they realized the potential and they shifted their application to the open source community of all the LLM models. You know, in 2021, Hugging Face raised a $40 million Series B fund round and that changed the entire history. And we know how amazing the Hugging Face is right now. Okay, it's not just the hub for the model. So you can see there is PyTorch hub as well as TensorFlow hub. But these are okay, okay, because Hugging Face was accepted by not only the people, but also by the bigger companies. So if you scroll down, you can see it says 50,000 organizations are using Hugging Face, including Meta, Microsoft, AWS, Google, Grammarly, and many more. This is the power of Hugging Face. And if you are still not convinced to start knowing about the Hugging Face, what this Hugging Face is, I can tell you that it is building the future with the AI community and that's 100% true. Okay, let's get into deeper. What Hugging Face include? I told you Hugging Face has basically three important things. One is the model collection. So all the open source LLM models are available in Hugging Face, including the Biggers, Llama, Gemma by Google, and every other open source is available in the models hub of Hugging Face. You know, there are 780 thousand open source model available in the hugging face then you have some data sets over 180 thousand data sets are available on different different categories and finally you can host your demo ml application on spaces with a free tier so that you can build up your portfolio for ml profile just like this yes it's really great it's not just about hosting the models creating the profile this hugging face has created many tools to interact with the model and making your life easy to work with the llm models there are many open source project available and you can see the stars the biggest and the amazing one is the transformers and you can actually look into that so if i say hugging face hugging face github and you will find that Hugging Face GitHub has transformers, diffusers, datasets, and many more. You can get into the profile and 
read the readme file how to use all these tools now you will see that everything is open source and freely available for this how hugging face is making money so hugging face provide the compute for your ai or ml application we all know that ml applications are compute hungry they need the gpu tpu and here we go with the hugging face not only that hugging face also provide a plan for enterprise level where it can provide the single sign in for different region private data sets and priority support all these things makes hugging face so great and now let's get deeper into the hugging face things so first of all there are models i told you the hugging face has more than 776000 open source llm models these models are categorized in multimodal that means image to text to text visual questioning different different things computer vision where you deal with the video and images so text to image image to text image to video image to image a lot of things then natural language processing which is text classification summarization question answering and much more now the thing is you just click on any of this so let's say text to image and here in the real time you can see 28000 models are available open source for this text to image thing okay once you get that then you can click on this sorting right now it's trending and i can click on most download and it's changed here you can see now we have two models amazingly available and stability ai is the one which we are going to take a look so click on this and once you click on any model then you will first see the model card so this model card is think about it as the readme for this llm model how you want to use it what this can do what are the different important information you need to know about this model and everything is here on they call model card but basically it's a readme file if you want to get into the real files of this model you can click on file and version and as i told you it's also simple git repository as you are already familiar with so it's simple git repository where we have different branch we have commits and different different other things you can directly download any file if you want to so see 6.94 gb this is obviously the real llm model you can click on download to directly download these files if you want now the best part of hugging face is if you want to use it they have different different ways to use it suppose you just want to try it out and see how this llm model behave so here is a inference api you can directly say hey uh, iron man in jungle hit on compute and this will going to generate the image for you because this is a image a text to image llm model and not only this you can use this model by clicking here on using this library and called diffusers remember i told you that there are many libraries available created by hugging face community and these are really useful for different models okay you can see now iron man in jungle is created and this means this model is perfect for me I can click here i can click on diffusers and it's giving me the code how we can use this llm model with the diffuser pipeline that's so great but if you want to deploy this model and want to do something with this you can use this using inference api provided by hugging face also you can deploy with the amazon SageMaker, azure ml google cloud and obviously the demo ml application you host on spaces that's also available everything is available on the hugging face level okay so this is just an example of text to image but if you want to see on let's say um, text to summarization and on the summarization you will see there are different model i sorted by most download and here is the one which is downloaded 5.32 million times 
So this one is here and once again you can try it out with inference API and this is the thing you click on compute it summarize it with this many text. So great once again you can use this with transformer. This is a normal text to text LLM model which you can use with transformer and if there is any model which deals with the image and video then you can use the diffusers library. Great. So next is the data set. Obviously you can use huge collection of these data set which is 180,000 data set and categorized in different different categories once again image text audio and if you see on the text the real big one is hugging face tb and if you click here and you can go on the file and the versions you will see that all these things are here but the real size of data set is 673 gb obviously you cannot use this data on your local or if you are going to get the uh, get the cloud version of any spaces any storage then this will be costing huge here it's all free you can check out all the collection how this is and uh, yes you can use this data set with different different libraries provided by hugging face you can use this data set to train your model from scratch if you want or you can just enhance your llm model with these data set wow these open source things are really pushing the community and world with the new technology so that everyone can access and make things better finally let's go to the spaces thing which is a way to host your demo application on the hugging face spaces if you want to uh, get started just go create new space name choose the license if you want and then you can deploy with github gradio streamlit application or even just a normal static html file will be good hugging face provide a free version of compute for cpu of 2 cpu 16 gb and if you want to get over and want to get some gpu or tpu you obviously need to pay and then you can create private or public space if it is public obviously anyone can see it just like i have created two spaces and you can see if the spaces is not used for some hours i believe then it just get into the sleeping mode and this is sleeping but this one is active and i just tried it so i will go here go to this embedding click on this and now i can go on the docs to start interacting with this application which i have created in my previous video and i say how are you click on execute this is going to interact with the llama 3 model behind the scene and it says good and i can say uh, wanna uh, play game and once again execute and see it will take a little bit of time to execute things and say i want to play a game okay so this is how it things work here in our hugging face okay so great that uh, spaces are here which is providing you a free tier to get started with things then there is a post it is like a small social media where you can post like things do do normal things uh, as uh, you do on any social media and there are many other things which you can get into now we have also seen that hugging face provide a github repository where it has transformer library diffusers library available now let's get into the transformers library and have a quick look how we can use it so if you scroll down the very first thing is uh, this is the code given just to try it out and you can get started with pip installation so i'm going to use the google collab and here i have created new notebook and to run any command i can just add the exclamation mark and then this is going to install the transformer once transformer is installed you can try with any simple application which is like this and i'm going to explain you how it works so while this is doing a task i can create a new code level and paste it and remove these things like here 
and see how it works. So we are importing transformers pipeline and uh, then we create the pipeline and say that what exactly we want to do. So it's going to do the sentiment analysis. Now you will say how it know which model to use. I'll show you very soon. So once everything is done, then we are providing once we get the classifier, then we provide the classifier with a line of text. And then when we are going to run this, then it will provide if the sentiment analysis of this line. Okay, so let's click on this play icon or you can just run by pressing shift and enter and then you will see the result very soon here. Okay, you can see it's giving label as positive. Now if I say bad here, as a very bad to introduce pipeline, which is not true by the way. <laughs> so yes, you can see now it says negative and 99.97% says that it's negative. And I told you that this is using a default model, which you can see it says since the model is not supplied is defaulted to this little model. Now, if you go on hugging face, search for this model, you will get the model here. Now you can see this model is in the category of text classification. And this means we can directly go on models, go to text classification and choose any other model we want. Let's get into the most downloaded one. And here you can see one from Facebook. This is the one which we have used. Let's try this one, Twitter one. I don't know what this one is called. So here I'm going to say as the model is equal to this model and then shift and enter to run this. If it is not available or the first time, then you are going to get a view that the model is downloading locally and once done then you can see it's giving once again negative and i say super happy and run it then you can see it says positive 99.10 percent okay so this is how you can use any library from hugging face just like transformer also you can use diffusers data sets try it on the google collab and this is how you can get what Hugging face is and how powerful this is. So if you have learned something from this video, just go and hit subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button, which is very important and hit the like button because the number of like gives me motivation to create more content just like this. If you have any request you want me to create video on, comment below and let's have a conversation and we will meet in the next video. Till then, goodbye.